It's a big couple of days coming up. We've bought what could be the biggest amount we've ever bought. So it's a movie that's just wrapped up. Can't say the name of the movie, it's top secret. Uh, but a lot of the time what we do is whenever a movie wraps up, we'll buy all the props. Um, most of the time, the props are sort of small. It's uh, box lots. We've bought 180 boxes from one set before. Uh, you know, a couple of lorry loads from another. Uh, this one, the props are big, so it's a sword and sandals sort of movie, as they call it. So it's sort of a fantasy time. Sword, sandals, axes, big cauldrons, shields, uh, that type of thing. So all the props are big, bloody big. So there is huge copper pots, there's steel pots, there is big stone bits, there's wooden troughs. Uh, all sorts of crazy things like that there, so there's slightly more than we're used to. Uh, I'm reckoning through the day we've got, what we've got, uh, we've got the two vans and the seven and a half ton and a trailer. Uh, I reckon it will be ten trips with everybody. That's big. So here we're just passing the uh, Samson and Goliath, the two cranes. It's a fantastic thing to drive by most days whenever we're going out in Belfast. Okay, just turn into the studio. Unfortunately, we got to end all filament. There's no filament inside the studio, but you'll see the stuff on the whenever we start unloading. See you in about an hour. First load in, and we're heading to unload. So we got one trailer, one van, and one lorry, and then the other guys just reverse the van in. Van to call four trips. Four trips with the uh, lorry and two vans, and a couple of trailer loads, possibly. Okay, now we're on route to our new storage depot, which will hopefully become the new on the square. So, a bit of a sneak preview. Let's get across this junction. It'll be the first time a lot of the guys see it, so it'll be interesting. A little bit of work to be done, so we're looking to maybe move in about a year, year and a half. So, a fair bit of work to be done, a bit of extending. But we'll have a lot more space. Space for more stuff. More stuff, more stuff, and more stuff. That's if I don't fill it in the next three days. So this place is about, at the minute, I think it's three times bigger. By the time we get the extension, it will be four to five times bigger. But the outside area, there's a further five acres of outside space, which we've never really had. We've sort of commandeered a couple of uh, car parking spaces that on the square, pushed our luck a wee bit, but we technically don't really have much of an outside area. Uh, but the new place, we've got five and a half acres. Lots and lots of outside stuff. All right, day two. Two good loads yesterday, so two lorry loads, four van loads, two big five-ton trailer loads. The first run today, so we've got a lorry, two vans and the trailer full again. And we're heading back to unload, and then back again. So getting a bit groundhog day, but there is a lot of stuff, and I love stuff. More, more, more stuff. I don't think we'll be buying for another couple of months because I think it's going to take us a couple of months to process this. A good lot of it's going to go into our new prop hire and then some of it will go into the shop to buy. There's some stuff I think we'll just get her straight in to buy. So I think we're going to move into another room today. This is try and give us room. So the last thing we want to do is do what we normally do and start unloading in an area with good intentions and then just cram the bloody thing so you can't see round. <laughs> Slowly and steady. Here he is, the big gun himself. We'll get in, move into another area, space things out, group things, make Marty's life a bit easy, uh, find the stuff and photographing stuff, and we'll get a photographing booth set up and start photographing and logging. But some good stuff, some big stuff.
day three, rock and roll. Today's not just quite as nice, it's pissing, or for uh, PG time, it is raining cats and dogs. It's raining down, it's a little bit more miserable. Uh, the cracks dried up a bit, <laughs> it's not as much fun. But we've got, we just unloaded yesterday's last load. <laughs> and then we're back up. I think one good hit now this morning. That should clear the first depot and then we go to the second one. It's mostly outside stuff and big stuff. So it's uh, getting a bit groundhog day. Lift, move, dump, lift, move, dump. But there's a lot more stuff than we thought. Whenever you view stuff in a huge airplane hangar of a warehouse, it looks like a certain amount of stuff. Now, whenever you bring it to a normal sized bloody place, it's slightly different amount of stuff. Sunday afternoon legend slot at Glastonbury this weekend. Um, 